Natasha. Debbie. Show. The show. <laughs> Welcome to it. <laughs> Just two patriotic girls. Learning about the world. So please, don't take us the wrong way. Good day, Australia. And hello, an American. Or <laughs> sup, an American. There you go. Sup. Sup. <laughs> How you doing? <laughs> what was that? I don't know. And welcome to the show, guys. We're so happy that you guys are here today. Uh, we have a fun episode coming up. But before we do that, very quickly, we'll see how fast she can make this happen. Easiest thing you'll do all day is to hit that like button for us. And also consider subscribing to our channel. Not your best. Ah. Uh. It's close up. I'll talk faster next time. <laughs> <laughs> That's how I talk anyway. <laughs> um, anyway, guys. Um, so, yeah, we have a really cool video here um, that uh, we've watched this guy's videos. Two of them. We've watched mm -hmm. two of his videos. One was him on a train, a sleeper train. Uh-huh. Caledonia? Caledonia? Yeah, that was name I think that was the name of it. Yep. Good memory. Um, in the UK. And then we watched him get on the big giant uh, Queen Mary ship uh -huh. from the UK to New York City. That's right. And we like this guy. He really, he's, he does a really good overview um, if you've not seen his videos. Mm -hmm. So if you don't know on our channel, we not only like to look at places to visit, but also ways to travel mm -hmm. while we're there visiting so we can get around and see different things, but see it in a different way. Exactly. I mean, it's cool to do it, you know, by car and other different ways, mm -hmm. but train, we want to see. So this video is 82 hours on Indian Pacific sleeper train across Australia. We were told mm -hmm. this is the most popular train in Australia. So on this one, he is going to do, I said, one of the world's longest sleeper trains for four days um, across the entirety of Australia. Holy crap. Um, from Perth all the way to Sydney. Dang, on the Pacific coastline. This is going to be awesome. This is going to be fun. I'm excited about this one. So I'm, saying, I'm so super excited. So we're going to dive in and check it out. The Indian Pacific Sleeper Train Across Australia. Let us know if you see your house. All aboard. Toot toot. <laughs> to pick up my story at the beginning of this adventure in Perth, Western Australia. Well, good day and welcome back to the channel. You join me here at Perth Railway Terminal where we're going to be taking the Indian Pacific train. In fact, I'm a little bit apprehensive about what it's going to be like spending this long on the track. It's a long Without time. any more to say, let's grab my luggage, go check in and go and get on board this incredible railway journey all the way to Sydney. Let's go. Like I said, if you guys haven't seen his other videos, he's done like Now, as usual, I'm traveling world. with just hand luggage, but should you wish to check in a bag, this can be done right on the platform. Okay. For now, I'll head Ooh. over for hey. refreshments, of which there are plenty. Naturally, I'll be getting in a much needed hit of caffeine though. I know, let's right off the bat, a pause. We have not seen him do that yet. Now, we've only seen two of his videos, uh -huh. but we've yet to see anyone have like refreshments right there. Yes. That looks phenomenal. I know. I want some. Refreshments, of which there are plenty. <laughs> Naturally, I'll be getting in a much needed hit of caffeine though, whilst enjoying some of the live music put on Heck by the yeah. train's traveling musician. Nice touch. Sorry. It's not long before we're invited to board at our leisure. Now, for the first half of this trip, I'll be in the gold class roomette, and these are located at the very end of this over half kilometer train. Jeez. Whoa. Finally, I'm at carriage N, and I'm warmly greeted by Luke, who'll be looking after me as far as Adelaide. Having just recently been refurbished, I'm inquisitive to see how these compare. I love how they had the little welcome mat right there, so you could get your shoes cleaned up. I, I was the looking that at was that, but a nice I wasn't... little touch. Okay, good one. And to say the Amtrak roomettes, which feature a similar layout. <laughs> wow, welcome on board. Let me just get myself settled in. With only a few minutes until departure, let's stow my bag and raise those blinds. We're really not going to want to miss those views today. Mm -hmm. And just like that, we're off. Waved off jovially by the staff on the platform as we trundle off and out into the suburbs of Perth bound for the outback. Is that your house? Do you live there? <laughs> Wait, it's going through the outback too? Okay, so let's take a closer oh, okay. look at our next four days on the rails, covering no. a total of 2,700 miles, stopping multiple times en route and <clears> finally <throat> arriving into Sydney on Wednesday. Nice. Embarking on such an epic trip, there really is a sense of anticipation and excitement on board. For many, they've had this trip booked for several years, thanks to having to postpone Whoa. due to the pandemic. Oh yeah. Without any further pretty. ado, let's take a look around my roomette then. 
Firstly, we'll take a look at the day setting now, and when night falls, my attendant will convert this into a sleeping sanctuary for us to explore. One oversized <coughs> semi-reclined seat dominates the day setup, ideal for ogling out of the window at the ever-changing landscape. That's what I'd be doing. There's a foldable tray table in front of me with a variety of literature explaining our itinerary and the history of this incredible oh, cool. train. Nice. Unlike Amtrak, there's an in-room sink stocked with luxury Apelles amenities. Our Amtrak there is doesn't no have a sink. toilet or shower, uh, but there are shared facilities just down the corridor, which we'll okay. investigate in just a minute. Overall, it's a lovely place to be, and they've managed the space very well indeed. These are only for solo use though, wow. so if you're a couple, I'd suggest getting one of the twin rooms, which I've booked for the second half of this trip. Mm. Awesome. Shortly thereafter, we're called for wow. lunch. Now, because That's the stunning. amount of people on board, meal times are in staggered sittings, and I have 1.15 p.m. So let's head up train. <clears throat> it's worth noting here that there are no external locks on the doors, which isn't too much of an issue on a luxury cruise train. You just have to be a tad trusting of your neighbours, I guess. I'm not a very trusting person. Now, it's quite a trek to the dining car, and we'll need to pass through five cars up train. You'll note the different layout as we walk, and that's because the vast majority of Gold Class are twin rooms. It does create a few issues when passing on the corridors, but everyone is pretty patient and courteous enough. Good deal. Finally, I've made it to the bustling dining car. It's absolutely packed. Wow. So here's what it looks mm. like when it's a bit quieter. It's nice, I like it. Laid out with four-seater booths, it's very much a sociable affair, and you will be seated with other passengers. Mind you, nice. I find this situation a brilliant chance to meet new people and make new friends, though admittedly not really for the introverts. So what's on That is cool that you get to sit with other people so you can kind of meet and chat. And... I, I, I like how, to me, it looks very retro in the, the dining car here. Mm -hmm. Doesn't it? It looks yes, old-fashioned in a elegant. way that I like. It's elegant. Yeah, it's very pretty. Yeah first lunch menu then. Overall, it's quite a light first meal, but then again, this is welcome as we'll be indulging in a three course meal <laughs> this evening. Nice. After being served some warm breads, my main is presented. I've gone for the chicken Caesar salad with smoked sardines, poached egg, and a truffle dressing. No sardines, now, to be thank honest, you. I'm, I'm not the biggest fan of truffle, but overall, the dish was fresh and delicious. Though my preference is the dessert of baked triple chocolate brownie. Mm. Moist, gooey, and rich. It went down an absolute treat, and needless to say, my plate is clean. Nice, I like it. As we continue to hurtle Beautiful. east with less civilization by the mile, wow. I think I'll retire to my roomette <coughs> for a coffee. Now, something I've not shown you yet is the kitchen located in each carriage. Oh, cool. This offers up light refreshment options and where you can refill your water bottle. I, however, need something a little stronger to tackle the Aussie jet lag, so an instant coffee it is for me. I actually realised later in the trip that fresh barista-made coffee is available most of the time free of charge in the lounge car. Uh, I think it's mad. typical. Yeah. <laughs> that would suck. <laughs> Back in my roulette, let's settle in and watch the world go by. Yeah, I couldn't we believe it. We are very much wow. in the middle of nowhere with zero cell reception, but in some ways I quite like it. Heck yeah. It's rare you get a chance to completely disconnect these days. Right, let me explain to you a little more about the train that we're on. The Indian mm. Pacific started over 50 years ago, in 1970, and was the very first direct train to cross the Australian continent. Oh, cool. Back then, it was the third longest passenger service in the world, after the wow. Trans-Siberian and the Canadian, both of which mm. I hope to do in the future. <laughs> right up until 2016, a third-class red service was offered, which featured seated sleeping cars. Now, whilst there are three classes today, this involves gold single, gold twin and platinum class, there's arguably nice. no budget offering at all on this service. Really? With dusk fast approaching, wow. would you believe it's time wow. for food again? Dinner is penciled in at 7pm, so let's head back to the dining car. Equally as bustling as lunchtime, I'm seated next to a lovely Australian couple, and I'm promptly presented with a menu. Do let me know, as Ooh. always, what you choose down below. To start, I go for the carrot and coriander soup, which is quite light, but really tasty. For my main, I go for the slow-cooked beef cheek. This is super tender, cooked just to my liking, complemented with a sweet potato and ginger puree. To close, I opt mm. for the chocolate praline gatto. This is mm -hmm. presented beautifully, though I found it to be quite gelatinous. These desserts just look fabulous. <laughs> I knew she was gonna pause here. <laughs> of course, this dessert, it's sugary. It looks- It's sugary. It's not being a typical American. <laughs> it looks good, I can't help it. I hate sugar. <laughs> I want the savory stuff, man, all day. But that does look good. Uh -huh. That looks fantastic. Hang on. Yes. Oh, oh, sorry. Pride in gatto. This is presented beautifully, though I found it to be quite gelatinous. All said though, a solid first dinner on board. 
Parting ways with my new friends, it's time to hit the sack. I like the wood Let's paneling. see what my roomette mm -hmm. is like when it's made up into a bed. I want to see. I'm pleasantly surprised to find a very comfortable looking single bed adorned in rich Egyptian cotton bed linen. I'm really quite tired at this point, and this is certainly- I ain't gonna lie, that's way too claustrophobic for me. It, it it's does way look too tight. tight. Nope. But- I need a bigger room. <laughs> I'm sorry, but the single ain't gonna work for me. You need that, what was it, the platinum? Yeah, but I couldn't afford it. And, and, and again, if you've never seen his videos before, this is only our third one. He always tells us the cost at the very end. Mm -hmm the most welcoming <coughs> sight, not least of course, the pillow chocolate. With that, let's get changed into my PJs, naturally a fresh NASA tea. Which I had now we'll have to head never. down the corridor to one of the four bathrooms available in our carriage. Throughout the trip, I never once had to wait to use one and they're kept sparklingly clean That's by the nice. staff. Fantastic. It's great to see yet more of the delightful Apeles products offered here. Never heard of it. It's... Right then, let's get changed. much better. Now really, it's time for bed. If you listen carefully, you can hear it calling my name. Right, so uh, I think the only thing left remaining is to boot those tins off, brush my teeth and get into bed. You'll be happy to know the bed is indeed really comfortable and with the gentle rocking of the Western Australian tracks, I'm off to sleep in a matter of minutes. Okay. Nice. Still want the bedroom. <laughs> Well, good morning. I have to say I slept very, very well, um, completely out like a light, and uh, it's now 6am. We also appear to have come to a complete stop in the outback. Oh, wow. I can only assume this is our sunrise stop. Not wanting to miss that sunrise, let's get that NASA sweater on, pop the Tims on, and head out my cabin. Frustratingly, you can only exit the train at certain points, so we'll have to yomp it up train around four carriages. Oh. As I detrain, I'm brought into another world, the outback for the first time. Oh, we haven't even seen this yet. Welcome no. to Rawlina, population 30. What? Don't let the population distract Whoa. you though. Rawlina is Australia's largest operating sheep station, running up to 65,000 merino sheep in a good season. I think for most people it's far too early. I've got jet lag on my side and I feel pretty fresh. It is incredibly cold in uh, contrast to popular belief. Uh, Australia does get pretty cold in the winter. Mm -hmm. Nearly everyone on the train has got off to explore this remote town. Greeting us is a oh, local wow. horse, who looks That's a bit cheesed off to be up so early. There's also an array of breakfast snacks, and of course bonfires to warm everyone up. I'm loving this. I will naturally return for a bacon sarnie, but I want to watch the sunrise at the very front of the train. With the mist up mm. ahead, combined with the ramshackle buildings, and everyone wow. still being half asleep, it certainly feels pretty eerie. So we've made it to almost the front of the train. Uh, unfortunately, for safety reasons, we're not permitted to go right to the very front. Oh well, yeah. Now I'm pretty disappointed that we can't. Not really sure why, but I will of course respect their wishes. Back at camp, it's time to investigate the food offering and join the queue of hungry passengers. This is awesome. A selection of cheese pastries and bacon mm. baps are on Heck offer. Yeah. And to my surprise, some live music too. To the same guy. Wow. I think he was on the train with them. Let's pull up a pew and get stuck in. <coughs> I would do this in a freaking second, Heck wouldn't yeah. you? Not at all. Certainly better than the one I was presented with back home on GWR's Night Riviera. <laughs> it really is hard to believe that people live all the way out here, but with the railway, Only they're 30. connected reliably to the rest of the country. With the fires beginning to dwindle, it's time to leisurely stroll back over to my carriage. What a lovely way to start the day, I have to say. Heck yeah. Mm -hmm. Starting out watching uh, the sunrise in the outback in a village with the population of what 10 eating bacon butties 30. and drinking coffee i mean can you really get any better than that no it really Everyone can't can it because i i'm super jealous like that looks so cool it does i want to do that i want to wake up in the sunrise in the outback I and mean, then quickly get back on my train <laughs> yeah i mean what a good way to do that get up early early i mean you're gonna be sitting on the train the rest of the day get out walk stretch yeah and then go in and take a nap uh, it's just beautiful it's absolutely beautiful Loving the uh, Indian Pacific. Yeah. In with their room number when getting back on the train to ensure no one is left behind. <laughs> so Smart. let's get some coffee on the that go would then. Suck. And enjoy it. Tuck, yeah. tuck, back. Can you imagine? It'd be me. It'd be me. Debbie get on the train and be like, she'll be here in a minute. And then they start taking off like, no, no, no. And I'll be like, she's out here somewhere. I'm in the outback by myself. In a small town. And then I'd come riding into town on a kangaroo like, I made it. <laughs> I don't know. In bed. 
It's times like these I marvel I'm able to sit back in my modern roomette, enjoying a coffee whilst being in the middle of the outback mm -hmm. that is hundreds of miles from the nearest significant That's town. pretty cool. It's not long before our train rolls back into life and we're pulled further into the Nullarbor Plain. In fact, for this next wow. leg of the journey, we'll be on the straightest segment of railway in the entire world. Really? 300 miles without a corner. Wow. Given I'm unlikely to be rocked around too much on these tracks, I think it's time to try out the shower. Good, good, good timing There for are that. two showers yeah, in each single gold class carriage. I find that at peak times, I had to wait for these, but it's not like I'm in any kind of rush. This shared shower room is actually the largest I've experienced on a train before, doubling as a toilet also. The shower has great pressure, maintaining a steady warm temperature throughout. It's funny that at one point showering on a train for me was a novelty, but now it's become second nature, mm -hmm. only to be topped by showering on a plane of course. Back in my cabin, it's time for a fresh hoodie and change of socks. I've never showered on anything that's moving. After putting nope, my tins back neither. on, it's time to head to the dining car for brunch. <clears throat> brunch today is at a leisurely schedule, and I can take this any time between 10.30 and 2pm. <laughs> Given that dinner isn't until 7.30 tonight, I opt to dine as late as possible. We'll start with a fresh coffee, as I get chatting to yet more new friends, oh, Nick cool. and Doug. <laughs> Whilst they opted for more traditional brunches, I've gone for, wait for it, a camel curry. Now this is certainly a first okay. for me. Let's be honest, it looks phenomenal. Hmm. And the taste, you ask? Well, it's incredible. For comparison, I'd really? say camel is like a lean beef. Oh, it's actual I'm camel? For the brunch uh -huh. I didn't know people ate camel. Apparently they do. Did you know that? I did not know for sure. I never even knew that. I did not know that. No. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just surprised. Like, oh. Yeah. Okay. Not judging. No. Just did not know. But now we do. Okay. How popular is camel? Well, I didn't know that people ate kangaroo until we started doing the Australian I, I, videos. Exactly. And I'm still, I didn't know either. Still very surprised yeah. by that and, one. Uh-huh. Huh. Yep. Okay. Incredible. For comparison, <coughs> I'd say camel is like a lean beef. I'm now offered a brunch dessert of toasted brioche with ricotta and almond curd. That looks amazing. Crikey, mm. I'm in food heaven right here. Yeah. I spend the next hour or so chatting away until there's another announcement on the tannoy. Well, ladies and gentlemen, the train is now in its uh, safe position for our uh, first stop here in Cook. Would all the staff please uh, unlock our doors? It's definitely t-shirt weather given the toasty 23 Thank you for the degrees this afternoon. Yes. And with that, let's hot foot it over to the stairs and go and explore this unique ghost town. You said that was toasty. Right, so <laughs> welcome to Cook. We are well and truly in the middle of nowhere. In fact, the population of this town is just four. Um, and wow. we're significantly adding to that with our train today. It's not a town, it's a village. So as I walk into wow. downtown Cook, it's evident that more than four people have at one point lived here. And that's because pre-1997, Cook was a thriving Commonwealth Railway Centre for track maintenance and loco repairs. Due to its remoteness, residents depended on two weekly provision trains for all their supplies. Mm -hmm. Today you can find remnants of this once thriving huh. town. The post office, hospital and houses still remain. Wow. In fact, it's still partly used, as there are still crew rest and fuel facilities for passing trains. Mm. But it's effectively a ghost town, huh. and certainly an eerie place to explore. But now it's time to head to the very front of the train. Finally, we can take a proper look at the loco pulling us. I'm intrigued to find out there's a motor rail carriage at the very front. That was like that car. You can actually take your car between Perth oh, wow. and Adelaide. That's not cool. All the way to Sydney. Anyway, I digress. The loco. <coughs> a Sorry, 1997 guys. built NR class with a V16 engine, putting out a staggering 4,000 horsepower. These locos are also used for freight all across Australia okay. by wow. Pacific National. So that is the fire siren uh, and it's a note for us to go and get back on board and not wanting to get left in literally the middle yeah. of nowhere. Yeah, Let's go head back and then right at the very back of the train. With that, let's head back to my compartment as we leave Cook behind and return its population to, well, four. Our conductor mm. was explaining that in recent years, it's not uncommon to have some of the previous residents take this trip to reminisce on life in this outpost. Oh, wow. As we continue wow. on the world's longest straight section of track, dusk begins to fall over the Nullarbar Plain. Sadly, I'm yet to spy any ruse, though ironically, they're on the menu tomorrow. Hmm. I'm good. 
back in the dining car, I'm seated next to the same Australian couple from the previous night. That's cool. I'm thoroughly enjoying getting cool. to know them both as they explain their pre pandemic adventures through the five stands. I wonder if there are any train trips I could take here. Mm. Tonight's menu looks solid, and whilst I'd eaten my fill at brunch earlier, I'm pretty hungry now. After ordering a refreshing ginger beer, I'm served my starter of cheese souffle, which is delicious, albeit more pastry than souffle. For main, I opt for the cannelloni. You see, I do choose the vegetarian options now and again. Awful. For me, I always find it's important <laughs> to try the variety of food offered on board these trains and yeah. planes, to give you an honest mm -hmm. picture of what it's like for all tastes and preferences. To close, I'm presented with the date and almond tart, which is divine and a close favourite to the chocolate brownie from yesterday's lunch. With dinner <laughs> over, I make it time to get that beauty sleep. So let's head back to- Have you noticed like in his uh, train car that the um, hallway is curved? Yeah. And I think that's so cool. I did, I didn't know why though. I, I don't know why either. Probably for different room sizes or something. Oh yeah, because I think most of the ones were twin sizes mm -hmm. where he was at, I think. But I, I just, Found that to be fascinating. Mm -hmm. To my welcoming roommate, brush my teeth and hop into bed. Now when does he switch rooms? Remember he said it he was going to- It will be quite mm -hmm. the shock tomorrow to go from the remoteness Never of the mind. outback to our arrival into Adelaide. Night all, I'll see you all in the morning. Peace out, bro. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, just had a look at uh, our temperature outside. It looks to be seven degrees at the moment, but it's it's soaring to a whopping 15 by the time you return to the train today. Well, good morning. Quite the wake-up call with that weather report, eh? But I do need to get up sharpish as I'll be changing cabins this today. This is beautiful It's right incredible here. to see the mm -hmm. difference a night's sleep has made to the scenery outside yeah, our window. Yeah, wow. Green, lush, and built up. And how much distance do they just I guess it's time to get off make. and yeah. explore Adelaide. I'm kind of sad to be leaving my roommate, as it's been one of the comfiest little rooms I've had on a sleeper train to date. That's Let's hope this ensuite upgrade mm -hmm. is worth it. Right, so welcome to Adelaide, bright and early. We have arrived two thirds of the way for our journey. At the moment, I need to go and sort out formalities over in the main terminal. So let's go and do that right now. Quite a few new passengers board the train in Adelaide, so it's often pretty busy in the terminal. Thankfully, as we're around three hours before departure, it's deserted and I'm able to sort out the check-in formalities swiftly. Mm -hmm. And I drop my bags off and I'm promptly issued my new boarding card. Now usually you'd be able to go on a tour that's organised by the train, however there wasn't room to go and do what I wanted to do this morning which is the market to go and get some breakfast Aww. and some coffee, so I thought I'd do it myself. Also because I'm changing between two uh, cabins it complicates matters just a little bit and people don't usually do what I'm doing, <laughs> it's a standard I'm thing in life that. anyway. With that let's hop in an Uber and head to downtown Adelaide. Oh cool, nice. he never does this. <laughs> Adelaide Central Market is one of Australia's oldest dating back to 1869. It offers a large range of fresh produce from meat, baked goods, fruits, flowers wow. and even kangaroo meat. I'm thoroughly enjoying getting lost among the 8,000 square metres of over 70 stores and stands. Naturally I sniff out a lovely looking coffee stand. <laughs> After appropriate caffeination, it's time to head back over to the train terminal. I certainly have unfinished business in Adelaide. It's got a real small town vibe to it, and I really like my time here. I wanted to see more. I know. I'm glad he's so back to, the market. to platform one. About to go and get back on board. Lovely tour around Adelaide, a beautiful city. Definitely want to return. So, with that, let's go and get on board. Let's go check out the new room. Yeah, it the one I'm quite strange taking. boarding the same train, made even stranger by the staff changeover that happens here in South Australia, so lots of new but friendly faces are about. I'm now in carriage K, which has its benefits of being much closer to the restaurant car. So let's see what this upgrade to a gold twin is really like. Yeah, this is the room I want. Um, K9. Oh, well, welcome to my cabin. Let me get myself set no, I want the other one. on my way and I'll show you <laughs> all around. It's not long before we depart Adelaide, right on time, but first a quick safety announcement. Being on board a moving train can get some taking used to. 
so please be aware trains can be subject to sudden movements. You don't need to say that again. This next <laughs> section of track has got quite the surprise in for me and is among yeah. the bumpiest and roughest ride I've ever experienced Ow. on the rails. More on that in a second. Okay. As we leave the city limits of Adelaide, we pass the Garn, the sister train to the Indian Pacific. And yes, don't worry, I'll be trying this out in due course, in the a class gone. beyond gold. It's what's known as platinum, complete oh. with a double bed and bottomless Bollinger. Yeah. I'll take that <laughs> one. We're now back on the move, and I've just found out from another passenger that the Outback Lounge car serves incredible takeout coffee. I wish I'd known about these sooner, as instant coffee is never the one. Resisting the urge to get stuck into a scone, oh, nice. I head back to my room and take a proper look around. Why resist the urge, man? Get into the I urge, know. man. <laughs> One for me, man. Right, well, Two for g'day. Me. Oh, right, so welcome back to my room. Still battling that jet lag, being the fact that I've been in Oz now for about five days. I should probably stop playing that card. <laughs> True. So, my gold twin room, K9. What's it like? Well, for starters, it's a lot bigger. I can actually stand up and walk around in here, unlike my cosy roomette. True. Mm -hmm. There's a foldable tray table by the window, along with my new dining card. On the far wall, there's a variety of controls, such as for the music, the lighting, and of course, the all-important charging points. Lastly, there's a small safe for valuables by the door. Nice. Of course, we'll take a proper look at my ensuite bathroom and shower facilities in just a moment. Okay. Overall then, it's a solid room offering. It is, however, rather dated in comparison to the gold single carriages. Oh, really? Mm. As we edge further back out oh. into the wilderness, we pass a fork in the tracks. This is where the Garn will continue up to Alice Springs, but where instead the eastbound Indian Pacific heads towards the New South Wales border. Well, I'm not sure about you, but I'm starved. Let's head over to investigate what's on like today's menu. like he eats all the time, but I know there's <laughs> hours <laughs> passing in between. Now to the dining car. <clears throat> it's quite a light menu as lunch seems to be on board, but I'll take the quesadilla this afternoon. Nice. Served with a fresh rocket salad, it goes down an absolute treat. Mm. To follow, I opt for the caramelised hazelnut chocolate tart, served with uh -huh. a velvet chocolate sauce and double cream. It's rich and decadent, definitely something I couldn't have every lunchtime though. I don't ever eat say, dessert after though. that overindulgent dessert, I think I need to take an afternoon nap. <laughs> I'd love to say it was a relaxing snooze, but thanks to the appalling condition of the tracks, I struggled to not fall out my seat. As I battle with a turbulent ride, let's take a look at the cost for this trip. Oh. Now you have to remember I'm trying out two separate classes today. For both single and ten <coughs> gold class, it comes out at 3,810 Australian dollars. Oh, good pause. Thank you. <laughs> oh, I was, trust me, I was getting ready for it. So $2,640 for us. Mm -hmm. That'd be 2,249 pounds for the UK, friends. Yes. Canada, you always got to pay more. Not as much as the Australians do. It's for four days. It's not too bad. That's not bad at all for no. four days. Um, but that room is tiny. No, That's the it's... twin, right? Or not the twin, I'm sorry. Is this the single room? Yes. I think. So <laughs> Rewind that. <laughs> I'm sure it is. I think the next one's going to be the, the bigger room. However, this isn't a usual booking. Instead, if you book the roomette for the entire journey, oh. it would be... Yeah, that was, was that for both... Yes, that was for his trip. That, that was for his trip. Okay. So let's rerun that just a minute. Then. So that price is for doing the individual room and the double. Mm -hmm. Well, the, the two people two people room there. Yes. Okay, got it. That makes more sense. However, this isn't a usual booking. Instead, if you book the roomette for the entire journey, it would be two thousand five hundred ninety-five dollars. Well, whereas a lot cheaper. the twin would be mm -hmm. four thousand seven hundred and seventy-five. That's not bad. Yeah. Well, no, hold on. That twin price is not bad. Where's that at? Be four thousand. That's not bad. Mm -hmm. For four nights. Yeah, that's not bad. Would you pay for it? Mm -hmm. Have you done it? Let us know. Thousand seven hundred and seventy-five. It's not bad. Now, many of you, I'm sure, have been concerned about the DC drought so far. So let's change that. Time to head to the lounge car for an afternoon refreshment. This is the Outback Explorer Lounge, accessible to all Gold Class passengers. It's quite busy in here most of the time, so I've included some footage of when it's much quieter, mm. so you can see the variety of different I'd seats. I'd be in there the most often. Yeah. So, got those bingo cards ready then? It's time to tick off DC. It's a lovely place to enjoy a soft or indeed hard drink, watching the late afternoon sun yeah. dance over the red sanded outback. It's not long before darkness begins to fall, and with it we cross into the state of New South Wales, and of course our next stop, Broken Hill Station. Ooh, this used right. to be a chance to get off the train, with excursion scheduled to explore this inland mining city. 
Mm. Unfortunately, due to works on the railways, this has been postponed for the time being, oh. which is certainly a shame. Yeah, it is. The background like is, in fact, it. Australia's longest-running mining town, with wow. its name sought from the variety of hills in the area, which have long since been mined away. Mm. Fun fact, Mad Max 2 was actually filmed here, Ooh. as well as some of Mission Impossible 2. Right, with darkness now upon us, it's time to get our last dinner on board. Let's place the makeup room sign on my door for turn down and head over to the dining car. It's time to try the much anticipated dish of kangaroo. Well, here goes nothing. Couldn't do it, sorry guys, can't. It's actually really tasty, it's quite comparable in consistency to chicken or rabbit, which I didn't expect. Not had rabbit. For main and get your bingo cards ready, I went for steak, specifically the Hunter Valley fillet. This is served mm -hmm. with potato and parsnip puree and portobello mushrooms. Now mushrooms. for a very turbulent banoffee pie dessert. Oh, look at the water moving around. New friends, Nick, or whatever beverage. Ross for this one, who I chat with well into the night. <clears throat> right, I make it bedtime. So welcome back to my room. Okay, I lied. I could totally do this one. I don't need the platinum room. This one's perfectly fine. But you're sleeping on the floor. I was going to say for one person, it works. Didn't they show a couple earlier, like in the Just picture? Sitting that, in there. No, I know, but they were sitting there for, he said for a couple. I, 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 Two people I aren't know. sleeping in that bed. I don't know. Maybe you can. Maybe you sleep at my feet. Maybe you can turn into bunks. I don't know. I don't think like so. Like a bunk bed. I don't think so. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe we'll find out. If you know, let us know. The floor sounds good too. I'm just kidding. Yeah, no. um, as you can see, beautifully made up into the <clears throat> bed. I'm actually really quite tired now. I've spent the last couple of hours chatting to some great new friends in the lounge car. But it's now time for sleep. Waiting at my bed is a letter of apology and a gift. It turns out they apology take it seriously that many of us missed out on looking around Broken Hill. Aww. So Aww, I offered cool. this beautiful coffee table book as kind of an apology. How cool. Well, that's very okay, nice. Okay, it's PJ time. We'll get changed in my ensuite. <clears throat> that's if I don't fall over with the successant rocking of this train. Much better. Let's get my teeth brushed and into bed. Maybe it's just that room. My new bed features yeah. the same high quality Egyptian cotton bedding, along with duvet and comfy pillows. Though I think the largest concern tonight is just how turbulent the cabin is. And as I predicted, this results in a pretty shocking night's sleep. Mm. I'd be fine. Yeah, you can sleep anywhere. You can sleep standing up, Debbie. I awake dozed and rather shell-shocked from being shaken to my core throughout the night. This was among the worst sleeps I've ever had on a train. Anyway, let's get up and see what it's like outside. Just in the first room. We should be mm -hmm. in the Blue Mountains by now. We haven't seen those yet. I am kind of don't want to look at it yet because we're going to do a different video on them. But we'll get a glimpse. <laughs> Holy crap. Nice. Wow, you couldn't get any further yes. from the red soiled outback which we were gliding through yesterday Yeah, afternoon. so different. Anyway, I make it time for a shower. Being a wet room, the entire bathroom becomes your shower, which is fine, but do make sure you don't leave any of your clothes out or they'll go swimming with you. I've never done well, that. That it has seems to be said, another stellar shower. Different. Strong pressure and a consistent warm temperature. What? Perfect. Like a wet room and everything turns into the shower. Well, I can make that Just happen. Just as I'm changed, <laughs> we finally glide into our final stop of Sydney Central Station. Okay. Let's grab my luggage and get off train for the last time. It's Mind certainly the gap. been one heck of an incredible journey. Beautiful. Beautiful. That is. Opera well, awesome. it's with great pleasure that I welcome you to the wonderful Sydney Opera oh, House, thank you, sir. where we have arrived all the way from Perth. It's been honestly quite an That's incredible so cool. experience, and I hope you've enjoyed coming along for the ride. That was a lot of fun. That um, was awesome to see everything. It really, really was. I want to know if you guys, has anyone here done this? First of all, that to mm -hmm. me would be really interesting to find out. I feel like I'm, I'm probably joking about the whole like, you know, if you stayed in the first room, that would be so, you know, right. bumpy. Um, but you never know. Maybe it's the, where it, I, I, it, probably it not. might not be. I mean, <laughs> the one thing I noticed between the two rooms is the first room. It's kind of like you are sleeping and going down the track this way, you know, like you would. And then the other one, the bed was turned sideways. You're right. So you're going uh, down would that that way. She's smart, and I'm not. So. so I don't know if that makes a difference on how bumpy it is. I mean, obviously, tell us. He did say that the tracks were a little bit rougher there, and yeah. they were under construction <clears> in <throat> one right. area. Right. So I'm sure that had something to do with it too. Agreed. I really enjoyed that. I thought it was great. I love looking at the different ways to travel in different places and then seeing out the window. I'd be in that one on the Outback car. I can't remember what it's called now. Um, where, you know, you can have the yeah, drinks like and the stuff. Yeah, the cocktail lounge area. The lounge, yeah. yeah. The Outback lounge, I think it was. Yeah. I would be in there more than any Me of the rooms. Me too. And the main reason being, you can see out 
both sides of the train at the same time rather than in your cabin. Well, it's bigger too. You only see one side. Plus it's larger. Yeah. And you can talk to people, again, make new friends, not just mm -hmm. at dinner time or lunch time. Yep. So I would absolutely do that and have a blast. So uh, I really enjoyed that video. If you guys did too, please hit the like button. Consider subscribing to the channel. And uh, you want to do it? Want we'll to book our trip now? Let's do it. <laughs> oh, okay. We're doing it right now, huh? Give me the credit card. <laughs> no. <laughs> not yet. We have so much more of Australia to see. Um, we're going to be back next time. And until then, please, as always, love like jazz. Be as strong as Tyson. Bye, guys. Bye.